Okay. Let me start again and explain some of the things that I did. The instruments or sounds used in the composition which I just played for you were actually created on the synclavier at an earlier time as part of the process of composition. Then, uh, when I'm playing the piece, I simply access them here by pushing these buttons. You can hear some of them that I use. <laughs> Um, and when I begin the piece, I'm playing a figure like this. Uh, but under it is an accompaniment of a pre-recorded sequence, something also I did earlier, which I start by pushing this button here. And it sounds like that, but not quite. It has been retuned so that uh, an octave and a sixth are within the space of one octave. I do that by pushing a button called octave ratio and then turning this knob. The knob controls any parameter I want to change. I just push the button corresponding to that parameter and then move the knob accordingly. So here I'm adjusting the octave ratio to 1.6 and the pre-recorded sequence comes on now sounding retuned. Um, and at a certain point, um, I loop it. And uh, after I've played over it, and then I change instruments to that flute instrument. Take the loop off, let the sequence continue, and the music tells me at a certain point to bring in a new instrument. Now I'm waiting for an ostinato to start with a kind of a xylophone instrument. And when that comes in, right here, I re put it back to tempered tuning and add this melody on top of it. This is what Max Matthews called the music minus one mode. I'm going to put a marker in this sequence and loop back to the marker. Change instruments. transpose button off, call in a new instrument, push the speed button, and start to speed up this sequence, this little loop that's underneath. And a new figure emerges from that. I call up another instrument here, kind of a whooshing sound. At the same time, I increase that loop speed to three times its original. I 
send the sequence into reverse. Playing above it at the same time. And then at this point, I'm going to split the keyboard and add a new instrument in the left hand. again and put a new instrument in the right hand. And this is about where I left off after the ex excerpt that I played. So you see that in the process of playing this instrument, you're performing several roles of, at the same time. That of the keyboard player, uh, that as the conductor changing the tempo, uh, uh, calling in new instruments, um, and making various changes which are appropriate to new forms of musical instruments.